In order to change the P6800 heat press from a skinny tumbler press, which is what's set up here, and I have videoed previously, you'll need to wait for it to cool down. Remove the silicon hammock out of the machine, which just unclips from the top on both sides. Then you have four gears on each side of the machine. They are attached by two screws up the top here, and you'll need to remove all of those. There we go. So out comes the rod and the gear. So these are the two pieces you've used for the skinny tumbler pressing. And what we're going to do is replace those with these gears. Now these are the gears that allow for the coffee mug handle and leave a gap at the top of the silicon. step is to install these adjustable rods which go across the heat press into the new gears that you've just put in. So putting the rod through, we're doing an 11 ounce mug. I choose to use the fourth hole down for doing the 11 ounce mug. Just make sure you get it right into the groove. Now install the hammock, so it's the same one that you used for the drink bottles, just clips in on the top, slides in over the bracket on both sides. There you have it. So I'm going to show you side on with clamping the mug in place. 11 ounce mug, fourth hole down. If you've got a mug of a larger diameter, you would then bring the bring the rod on the side up. If it's a smaller diameter, like the money box or a six ounce mug, then you might want to drop that down further to increase the pressure, but just play around with it before you get pressing. So we pop that in. So that's left room for the handle. Scrolling through the mug settings. Temperature, time, temperature, time. They can be adjusted using these two arrows as you're going through and to heat up left and right. Okay, now we're at temperature. So we're going to put in our coffee mug. I'm going to press an 11 ounce mug. I've put the transfer on it already. So we're going to open the mug press the mug inside with the handle facing upwards. Close your mug press and away we go. Ta-da! Here is the finished product.